Good day, everyone. It's good to be here with you today. Looking forward to uh, sharing with you, and we're going to be sharing a few webinars here over the uh, next uh, couple weeks or so. And so I'm excited to share this first one here with you. I'm just going to share my screen with you. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about circumstances for home learning. You can see our quote there. The quote is for us to remind ourselves, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should just ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you, from James 1, 5. Reflection as I go through this. Some of the things for you to think about. First, um, as I go through this, I want you to ask yourself, what is it do I need to stop doing? And then secondly, what do I need to start doing? And then as well, as I go through this, I want you to think of my students now. I used to, I'm filling that blank, but now I need to, and then fill in that blank. So please remember this is new territory for everyone. March 15th shifted learning from our classrooms to the home. Then obviously a classroom is a much different environment than our home environment. There are multiple scenarios for what school looks like in the homes, and these can cause much anxiety, anxiety for the parents and for our students. One, parents are still working away from home, so nothing's really changed for them, but it leaves their children or their child alone at home or with different supervision. Someone else is looking after them. That's a huge transition. Two, parents are still working their usual jobs, but from home. In other words, like some of you are doing, you are still doing your job, but some of you have children at home and you're trying to juggle that, your work and homeschooling your own children. Three, parents are home, but unfortunately they are unemployed. So obviously that comes with it, a lot of anxiety about income and providing and so forth. And then four, multiple siblings looking for assistance with their home learning. Home learning results in at least double the amount of time to complete a typical classroom task. This is our big takeaway here for today. So those guiding questions I started with, think about those as I go through this. Reasons that these tasks are double the amount of time. First, reading text without assistance takes longer than with guidance from a teacher. Within the classroom, it's easy for us to guide our students on what to focus in on, or we might even just eliminate specific text. But here we send something out and they have to read it. So there's no guidance from us. Two, students are unable to ask those quick questions for clarification. Um, so as they're going through something, they might just need a quick clarification. We can quickly answer that and they move on. But instead, they're unsure of something. So therefore, now they uh, have to reread the text two, three, four, maybe five times for that clarification. Three, students will lack materials at home. Four, Tasks may require materials, and it takes time to go ahead and gather those materials. Us, the teachers, we normally have them readily accessible in the classroom. So asking our students to grab a cartons, paper plates, markers, scissors, etc., that could take 20 minutes of what we thought would be a 30-minute task. So a lot of that time can be eaten up from just them looking around for those materials. Five, a lack of focus. In a classroom, as teachers, we provide a routine and a focused environment. We give them those countdowns, okay? You got two minutes left, one minute left, those types of things. At home, students can become squirrels. In other words, quickly distracted by every little thing around them, distracted by a noise outside, distracted by what's going on in the home. Or students may be responsible for other siblings or other tasks. So they might have younger siblings that they have to look after, or they have an older sibling looking after them, which can be uncomfortable. Or now the parents have left them with other tasks to do, chores, things like that at home. Six, the lack of proper workspace, bedroom, kitchen, table, couch, etc., are not optimal learning environments. Seven, internet accessibility. Even if they have internet, now there might be a lot of individuals jamming up that Wi-Fi at home, so things take longer than they normally would. And then eight, Parents may lack technology skills to assist their students. So as we proceed forward, I want you to think about those things, think about those guiding questions, and most importantly, have a little bit of grace for yourself and for your students 
as they are handing things in or in some cases not handing things in. You're all doing a great job. Keep up the great work.